Well, Senator Ted Cruz is really getting a taste of New Hampshire during this visit. He's talking to people in small hometown venues. There's not, no shortage of people, barely enough room to breathe, but he seems to be right at home. Without exaggeration, I talk about freedom a hundred times every single day. So what better place for Senator Ted Cruz to visit but New Hampshire's own freedom? Shoulder to shoulder with voters, Cruz made his way around the Freedom Village store. It is wonderful. This is the New Hampshire way, and it's what it's supposed to be all about, looking people in the eyes, answering their questions. And that he did, from Freedom to Wakefield, clearly comfortable in the small town setting. Can I, can I get you anything? Anyone want some food? Um, you know, can I, can I refill your coffee for you? After focusing much of his attention in Iowa, Cruz returned to the Granite State Sunday, crisscrossing the state on a five-day bus tour, beefing up his ground game three weeks before the primary. From the beginning, the strength of our campaign has been the grassroots, has been conservatives uniting, and the most powerful thing in New Hampshire, the way you win in New Hampshire is friend to friend and neighbor to neighbor, and we are seeing a grassroots army of conservatives come together. In recent days, much attention has been focused on the Texas senator after he and Donald Trump battled it out on the debate stage last week, and the weekend brought more criticism from the billionaire businessman. During Tuesday's stops, Cruz said Trump is rattled by the polls but didn't hurl insults and says when it comes to his own chances in New Hampshire... We're feeling very good, and the energy and enthusiasm we're seeing on the ground is incredible. Now, Cruz is continuing his tour through the Granite State through Thursday with stops including Rye, Hooksit, and Manchester. Reporting live in the newsroom, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.